everybody. Welcome back to the part two where we where where we will be exporting this hair into Blender. So the first thing you need to do is if you are using Action to do this, you can't do that. You need to. I don't know if you can do this, but I saw in a tutorial that you select the Action hair and then go to Generate and then convert that to Interactive Groom. So once you've done that, just go back to Generate again and then go to Cache export cache that's all you need to do go and current frame and uh, multiple transform if you're using I mean if you're um, exporting uh, different files at one time so yeah uh, here too because I've already made a hair one which didn't work uh, this is a uh, this hair too so export it and it should export I uh, calculating and yep this is exported all right once you export the mesh it should come to blender and then click on import and uh, uh, alembic and then you click on the kit to hair to and then export it and you should see your hair right there so right now um, this is my third time recording and the way uh, I, I did was I tried to extrude it so I extruded down below but then I realized this was a curve man <laughs> I was like shit it's not working so it was curved so I'll see and make it a mesh and once you do that you, you select everything extrude it and then I'm gonna extrude along the x-axis oh, all right now if I go to solid mode I, I, I ask solid mode so you can see I've selected it and I extruded it but didn't move anything so now I'm not gonna move I'm, not, I'm gonna move it on the uh, x-axis like I, I don't use the mouse for this I just hit the um, um, left arrow there you go just just hit it one time so it like that but the the main the the thing I'll be using is I'll just you know zoom in like this you know where I can see it and then now I move it okay on the x-axis oops I didn't I, I think I must have selected all so okay extrude it and G X and then click the next arrow so you can see we got the hair that we need there you go. And now, if I give a render, uh, bring up a camera, and make sure you have given ha hair shader for this one. I'm gonna give a principal hair beast of mm, principal hair beast. You know, this is not the actual way to do it. If if you if there's an add-on for doing this, please let me know. But yeah, for now this is the only way to do it, and it's it's not that good. I look at it; it's, it's like not that good. But this is the only way that you can export hair. Let me just you know reduce the samples to like five or something. Okay, let's do it fast. Uh, this is the quick and dirty way to do it, but uh, you can see it's it's not that good as compared to the one we had in Maya you can see we get something like that but for, for our case if we actually bring up the kit model like import uh, FBX bring up the kit model that I had kid I think it's this one kit low okay I hope this is the one Right now, I have uh, imported my character also to Blender, so I just scale it and 100. So I scale it 100, and then you should uh, see that we we do have a. So once uh, you can see that we we don't get that much of a thickness here, so you can cheat it by adding duplicating it or something like that, and you know scaling it down or something like that, but. It, it could it could create some problems also so the better way to do it should be the way to ex you know extrude it a bit more or something like that yeah there you go now there you go that that's that's uh, that's just good amount that could work and now let's give it a render 
Also, I need to go up here. So this is the one we had before, and I'm gonna click two here. Two for bringing up. Yeah, there you go. And now go up to here and make it fifty percent because uh, my computer can't, can't handle that much. But yeah, there you go. And render ring, my guy. Um, I know, you know, it's 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 not that um good but or you know you could if you have a good computer then you could just go up and add the um, solidify modifier and see what comes up because yeah and see lights there you go i'm gonna add in a light sunlight and then kind of render it now with the light on so let's see how that will look like so yeah, there, there you go. That's uh, that's a uh, hair. Uh, you can you can cheat sometimes. You can actually scale it down and look like it's. Oh my God, what have I done? Yo, this is a duplicator one, right? I just take it off. There you go. Okay, I think I uh, made a mistake there. I kind of duplicated and kept it on. Oops, and I'll just. Extrude it one more time. Not extrude it, just move it to side real quick. And then now, now let's get a render. I didn't know there was like two of them. Make sure like it happens a lot of time when you import one hair from Maya. Uh, um, it's actually it's actually kind of duplicated. Uh, but I, I for this reason I think I did it by myself. But it, it can happen sometimes. You know, you duplicate it. I, I don't like this one. What ha what's happening here? But yeah, there you go. That's a uh, good looking hair. Now I want to add some HDRI and look how it's going to look like. Uh, uh, film transparent. And for the world, we're going to bring some HDRI. Environmental texture. And open. And I do have my HDRI pack here. I'm going to click something medium. Low, low, low should do it enough for now, and I should render it. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so look, look at this. This is not looking so bad after all. Like, okay, we we do kind of get a hair f a feeling, but maybe I render it so low, it, it kind of look like uh, not that good. So we are we're gonna do. It. Oh, I'm gonna increase the render samples to like 250 and let's give it a uh, denoiser in the render setting so give it a render and let's see how it turns out okay guys so like it's been rendered and you can see like uh, how it looks like I mean, if you do a little bit more work on it, you could definitely achieve a better looking result. And that's basically how you can export it to Blender. This this actually looks really good on the viewport. But yeah, you work on it more, you can get a uh, good result. And uh, that's for it now. And I hope you like this. Uh, Maya to Blender and Action tutorial and I hope you learned something and you liked it and also please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you really enjoyed it and thanks for watching the video guys see you in the next tutorial or next videos bye bye